Hi, welcome to Chemas Start Online. Now we are discussing on gate previous year solved problems. Okay, right. Just look at the question. The process given below follows Langmuir adsorption isotherm. Okay, so here A two gas and uh, in equilibrium it it is uh, producing two A molecules and it is adsorbed. Okay. So this is the reaction. If so, here this is theta. Okay. If theta denotes the uh, surface coverage and P denotes the pressure. Okay. The slope of the plot of one by theta versus one by under root P is. So we need to find it. So here we have the given options one by Uh, k equilibrium square b one by k equilibrium c minus one by k equilibrium and d one by uh, k equilibrium one by two. Okay, that means simply under root k equilibrium. Okay, right. So here, uh, Langmuir adsorption isotherm. If we consider Langmuir adsorption isotherm, so it is applicable for monolayer. Adsorption on the adsorbent. So these are some uh, assumptions of Langmuir adsorption isotherm. Okay, so it is mainly applicable for monolayer adsorption, right? Okay, so here I am directly giving uh, equation for Langmuir adsorption isotherm here. So here theta indicates. So theta indicates number of sides of the surface of adsorbent which are covered with gaseous molecules. Okay, right. And uh, here, K A indicates rate of adsorption. So here, A indicates rate uh, adsorption, and K A indicates rate of adsorption. And here, K D indicates rate of desorption. Okay, right. So according to Langmuir adsorption assumptions, we get uh, by derivating the equation for Langmuir adsorption, we get Theta is equal to K A into P by K D plus K A P. So according to steady state approximation, we get theta is equal to K A P by K D plus K A P. Okay, right. And by dividing with uh, K D, that means uh, desorption rate constant, and by putting K equals to K A by K D. Okay, so that is here K indicates equilibrium adsorption rate constant. Then By applying them, so we get theta equals to K P by one plus K P. Okay, so and here the important thing is Langmuir adsorption uh, isotherm is only applicable for uh, low pressures at low pressures. Okay, Langmuir adsorption isotherm is applicable for uh, at low pressures only. Okay, so at higher pressures it deviates. Okay, so why it is um, only applicable under low pressure means under low pressures, uh, pressures. So there is a possibility of mono layer with atoms. Okay, but at higher pressures, so there is the bunch of a uh, number of uh, uh, multi layers uh, may be possible due to higher pressures. The molecules can adsorb on the surface. Okay, so that's why the law, the adsorption, Langmuir adsorption assumptions uh, may deviate. Okay, so that's why uh, Langmuir adsorption isotherm is only applicable under low pressures. Okay, right. Now, so we have uh, derived that theta is equal to Kp by one plus Kp. So this is only applicable for single adsorbate cases. Okay, so here adsorbate means the substance which is going to adsorb on the surface. So okay, right now, so here theta. For example, if we consider for two distinct adsorbates are uh, present in the system are going to adsorb on the surface, then we have uh, uh, for uh, a molecule. So theta a equals to k equilibrium a. Into so here P B by one plus K equilibrium A into P A plus K equilibrium B into P.
adsorption on surface theta p equals to so k equilibrium b into p b so 1 plus k equilibrium a into b a plus k equilibrium b into p b so b indicates a b uh, molecule and a indicates a molecule so there are two distinct adsorbates are adsorbing on the surface okay so for the for them we have a uh, different equations right now in the case of a molecule dissociates into two atoms upon adsorption so this is the case in uh, which is given in our problem so in our problem uh, a2 okay a2 it dissociates into two molecules and adsorbed on the surface okay so that means the given reaction is a dissociation reaction and it is adsorbing on the surface right now then so whenever uh, this kind of case we observe that means a molecule dissociates into two atoms upon adsorption then the dissociation theta so d indicates dissociation right of molecules and that they are absorbing on the surface then theta d equals to according to langmuir adsorption isotherm we have k equilibrium d into p d2 power 1 by 2 okay and by 1 plus k equilibrium d into p d2 power 1 by 2 so here we have extra that is exponential of onto the um, langmuir adsorption equations so why we are getting of means the of exponential uh, exponent on uh, p d2 that means pressure of d2 molecule okay so arises because one gas phase molecule produces two adsorbed species right so that means a2 or d2 okay so here d2 is producing uh, 2d so that's why the exponent of is uh, present or given on the uh, pressure pd2 okay right now so from this equation we can consider that theta directly proportional to p power of so then theta equals to k equilibrium power of into p of so here k equilibrium is a constant equilibrium constant for dissociative uh, reaction and which is going to be absorbed on the surface okay so from this we can write so raise an inverse so that means 1 by theta equals to 1 by k equilibrium power of into 1 by p of so according to our problem 1 by theta is given mind uh, 1 by under root p is given then the slope must be 1 by k equilibrium power of okay so this is the answer the slope is 1 by k equilibrium power of okay thank you